What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No uh, Premium, back with another episode of The Market Overview, guys. Today, uh, today we got that late end of, end of day sell push down, a drastic push down, actually, on the Amazon report. Amazon up a mm, couple points, nothing significant, was up a lot bigger. Not really sure if the call is going well or not, doesn't really know. Um, AMD reported as well today, not really sure. Looks like they're down about 10 handles. Obviously, guys, we know nothing matters until the morning, right? So if nothing matters till the morning, then let's worry about it in the morning. But what we could do right now uh, is go over some charts and what to expect going into tomorrow. First things first, always check the economic data. Uh, as far as pre-market data, not much going on. Got a bunch of mortgage application really early in the morning. Uh, Jolts data after the open with some ISM data. And then obviously Big Daddy P comes out. That's the FOMC press conference. Are we going to raise rates? Are we not? Are we going to keep the same quantitative tightening? Blah, 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 blah. Same song, different dance or whatever that saying goes. But uh, that's going to be expected for tomorrow. So starting at about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all the way until about the close, expect some big volatility to happen. Obviously with uh, Amazon and AMD having earnings today, specifically uh the the premiums were already pretty juiced on you know spying qqq now going into tomorrow i don't expect them wearing off and just increasing up until we have um the uh presser tomorrow let's go to the es chart here looking here on the four hour bouncing right where we need to on the sell after uh into the close you know gapping down just a smidge here but 50 50, right? That was the era we needed to hold. I'm not really concerned until we lose 5,000. If we lose 5,000, I think you want to get short. And we have, you know, 70 points of downside where I would aiming to take my first bounce opportunity down here, about 49.33 to about 49.50. Uh, that's where I'd be looking at the long trade. But really until we lose 5,000, Okay. Until then, I do think that this kind of flag that we've got going on here can be playing out. And especially tomorrow on a day like tomorrow when the market typically doesn't break out or break it down prior to PAL. So this whole, you know, plan for tomorrow, this is before PAL. Once PAL comes on, no holds bar, anything can happen, right? Um, which I'll likely just not even be touching anything. Just see if you can get that nice one and done trade in the morning. Market opens up the same time the next day, guys. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. No one's forcing you to trade it. If you don't like volatility and you don't like trading inflated premiums, tomorrow is not your day. And that's okay. Not every day needs to be your day. The best traders don't actually have to make a trade every single day if they don't like what they see. And they don't like the conditions. Okay. But with that being said, let's go in a little bit closer to see what can we expect tomorrow? Uh, just a penny. If we hold this overnight range here, I would think there's a possible range developing, you know, in, in this section here, you know, in the, in this section in here, we could be staying right in this area for tomorrow. So low of the range, 50, 50 ish zone, uh, all the way up to about 51, 10 ish. Right, 51.10 ish, 51.15, right? Kind of where we broke down of this little balance we had for a couple of days and broke down. Same thing. You guys could see this one hour balance candles right here. So, same thing, 51, you know, 10 ish. I'd be looking uh, as the high end of the range for tomorrow. This is going into PAL tomorrow. This is going into PAL. Anything after, no holds bar, like I said, right? So, gonna watch 50 50, gonna watch 51.10s here on ES and Q. Let me zoom this out just a smidge here. So it looks a little bit cleaner to see 17,470 holding though. 17,470 holding for now. Let's see if this can hold. Had a slight gap down on the open there and now bouncing back up. So for tomorrow, going to be that same thing. Going to want to watch this little this little zone in here as the height, right? 17,750, low of the zone, 17,450, 470. This area in here, just watch to see how this holds up uh, going into the overnight session and into um tomorrow underneath 350 is gonna be my bounce zone underneath here on nq spy guy went right down to basically that 500 zone uh and held right 500 and held so let's go to the daily here can see we had that you know this still looks like whoa that's not what i wanted this still looks like kind of a bear flag still kind of playing out here right this bear flag bear channel whatever you want to call it you can everybody can see it right some, I mean, there's a bias for everything. This, some people could argue this is just a big old bull flag, right? I mean, you could, if you want a bias, you can find it, right? You can find it. So, but for me, for right now, what's the most immediate action is this does look like it's rising up and all the sell volume does happen to be bigger than the buy volume does. So can't ignore that there, right? Not going to ignore that at all. Uh, but looking at the spy chart here on the one hour, let me zoom this in. 
bouncing right here at 500 where it needed to. So I'll be watching the 500 area here. We can take this off. And then this zone that we broke down from up here earlier today, right, right up to about 505. 5 ish 506 let's watch that top zone area even up to about 508 where we had balanced for a while but i'll be watching this initially uh here on the open absolutely uh tomorrow just depending have to hold 500 if we hold 500 great i would expect a melt up slow trip up here any resistance let's say we gap up for some reason i would look for having a resistance right here about 505 50 qqq here now uh, QQQ kind of in a weird funky 422. I like 418 better, uh, but 422 seems to be holding. It was pretty much uh, this old area right here. We can see where we had to rip up and bounce from and keep going. So holding this zone for now, ideally, I like 418 better, uh, but we'll see where that wants to hold. Um, As for tomorrow, let's see if this... Oh, whoa. Let's see if this zone in here about 429, if that's going to hold as resistance. Just depends where we are. If we gap up, look for that to be resistance. If we stay where we are, you can watch this 422, but I like 418 better, right? I think 418 is a better level. So the blessing of have having QQQ and SPY charted out for you is you can see, okay, SPY is closer to a major level. I feel more comfortable. Or QQQ is closer to a major level when maybe SPY is in, in between-ish and it can bounce either way, right? Kind of coin flip, if you will. So that's why it's good to have both of these chart out. And last but not least, guys, IWM right down to our 195-ish zone here. Um, just still balancing for now. You can argue this is kind of – we got higher lows going, right? We have higher highs, but you can – you know, is this a little bit of a bear flag playing out? Ideally, 188, 190. I would like the long there of a swing long, though. You can trade it, but I like to the swing long there. Have to break over 200 to the upside. But the range I'd want to – if you're going to play this tomorrow, the range I would look to play is this 194, okay, as your low. And I'd look at 200 as your high all the way up there. That's the range I'd play here on, um, on IWM, guys. Other than that, that is all I got for you. As usual, you got to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course not do anything fucking stupid. See you bright and early. Peace.